Well, how do there, chums? Just getting all the lights turned on and all set up. Here we go, let's make that a bit brighter. There we go, people. I think we're about settled in. Right, so the last video I did was on Monster Hunter World. And yes, that should be coming to my channel on the 20th of this month. 20th of January, yes. Now, I've been, you know, people seeing that video, seeing that I've been interested in games with giant monsters in, and also seeing that I played Elden Ring and Dragon's Dogma, I've suggested a couple of titles that I check out that kind of feel a little bit Monster Hunter-esque, and apparently they're on the PlayStation Store. Maybe just for pre-order, I don't know whether they're actually out yet. So let's go and have a little butchers, because I haven't looked at these, this is my first impressions of them. I'm going to be doing a little bit of reactions, if you like. Okay, so let's jump on over to my PS5. Let's go into the PlayStation Store, there we go. I always like going into here though, and at the bottom just going PlayStation 5 games and seeing what's new, what sort of dropped in. Skull and Bones, really? I'm sure that's been there before. Yeah, Diablo, pretty darn cool. So there's quite a few. Oh, there's one of them. There's one of them. Wu Long. Okay, let's go and hit on up Wu Long. Let's have a quick look, see. All right, okay, fine. $54.99. There's two friends of mine that have pre ordered this. So one of them, let's see if it was the person that suggested it. I, I doesn't actually show you who freaking okay. Well, it, it's Warfy that told me about this one. Warfy Farqua told me about this one. So let's go and hit on up the video, shall we, people? Any view of us? Get an Elden Ring vibes from this one for sure. I will not rest until the enemy has fallen. I cannot understand how one as strong as you could have gone unnoticed. <laughs> Your force was like that of a dragon soaring heavenward. What the? Okay. Okay. I'm liking the look of the creature design. I'm liking the Japanese feel to this. Early 2023. Very nice. Is there a second video? There is. Let's, let's have a look at that one as well. I'm drinking my tea while you guys watch. Fate intended for us to meet here. Team Ninja. I... What do you... Liking the clashy sounds. <laughs> Let's just go over to a screenshot so something's not playing in the background. Right, so my thoughts and feelings on that one. Looks very Elden Ring-esque, doesn't it? Oh look, I just got a new subscriber! Alan Parker! Thank you very much. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, I left the alert box on while I'm doing my recording. Sorry, people. Right, that's going to be there forever now. Cool! <laughs> But this game looks pretty darn sweet. The way that he summoned that sort of, I don't know what it was, some sort of fiery phoenix type little budgie regard or something. Pretty darn freaking lovely. Actually, there's a still of it here. Let's, have, let's just come back over to PS5 for a second. Yeah, there's like a still image there. That thing. That's pretty cool. I wonder if there's other summons 
They kind of remind me maybe a little of the ghost summons inside of Elden Ring. It does look like a fast-paced Elden Ring-esque type clone, doesn't it? And it does look like he was actually um, playing with another player there. Let's just let's have a look at this game. Let's have a look to see if it says that it is multiplayer. Uh, where's the write-up? Here we go. It says one player, but supports up to five online players with PS5 with PS Plus. Nice, you can form like a little little gang. Sweet. Okay, well, I think I need to learn more about this title. I mean, how much was it? It wasn't cheap, was it? It was about 55 quids, wasn't it? 55 quids. It's supposed to come out on the 3rd of March 2023. Now, I'm going to have Monster Hunter World on the 20th of January, and I am hoping to see something in February for No Man's Sky. But, you know, if something doesn't drop for No Man's Sky in February that I can get into and play... I could be tempted with this title. What an awesome looking game. Thank you, Wolfie, for the suggestion. Right, so the next one is Wild Hearts. Now, funny enough, this game popped up and I've hearted it. So you can see I've already looked at it. Main reason being, when I done my um, you know, my Monster hunter -y type Rise video the other day, it popped up in the recommended in the side tree. So it, it's one that sparked my interest. I started watching a few videos. Only one friend has pre-ordered this game though. Yes. And that releases, get this, 17th of Feb. Bang on my freaking birthday. Heck yes. But 69.99, 70 freaking quid for a video game. Are you trying to kid? Who are you trying to kid? Mr. Hitler. Nah, it doesn't work. Anyway, let's click this one. Let's have a look. See? Okay, so when I say that I looked at this, um, I watched a video on YouTube and it looked a bit better than this. That just looks like an adult version of Mousetrap, the old board game so far. Evidence okay, now this looks better. Ancient ancestors' extraordinary technology, the Karakuri, can be found across this land. Though they still worked when I was a child, it has been a long time since anyone could figure them out. That is, until you. Harness nature's energy, wield this ancient tech, unleash the power of the Karakuri and shape them into new forms. What? Overkill much? I imagine in time how you use these karakuri will change the very way you think about the hunt. Mm. This is some like novel the idea. Karakuri itself, you must be adaptable. And like the kimono, but you must be ferocious. Poor little creature. Plan your hunt. Set your trap. And bring down these giant beasts. <laughs> the Karakuri can be used for more than battle. Wait, they are your Look at tools that. to trouble. That's pretty cool. Didn't see people. that in the YouTube video. Gather resources. Build Hopefully, it's got fishing then. That was a hint, wasn't it? They can even guide you, as they once guided our ancestors. Again, the biomes look great. The creatures look... I I'll get to that in a moment. Fuck you, bone! Sonic the Hedgehog. But shitter. Okay. Wow. Seek allies, and together, tame a world gone wild. I don't know how long this video is. Big. Okay. So, what did I think of that video? Well, the video I watched on YouTube was infinitely better than that one. I mean, that's one we're fighting against a freaking mouse and then a porcupine. 
That's that's not going to sort of draw the players away from freaking Monster Hunter. Heck no, it's not. I was like Vermin Hunter. That's the okay. I'm gonna play another video. Let's just hope it's got freaking monsters in. Okay, that's a wolf. That, that's that's a step in the right direction. All right, it's got some nice artwork. I like the artwork being brought into life as being creatures. It's pretty cool. Wow, that's better. That was a better trailer, people, wasn't it? That was a bit better. There's two other trailers here, but maybe we'll leave those ones, I guess. Let's, um, yeah, we've done two on two. That's, that's fine. Looks like you can get a discount if you've got an EA account there, $62.99. But I think I'm only going to be going with one of these titles. So maybe it's a case of watching some sort of, I know, previews. Maybe I need to watch a few more videos on these two titles. But let me know inside of the comments, out of these two titles wild hearts or Wu long which one you prefer the look of yeah so this one looks more like monster hunter whereas Wu long looks a little bit more like elton ring now i was a big fan of elden ring i'm a massive fan of monster hunter also so i really honestly don't mind i'm kind of on the fence with these they've both got that japanese sort of inspired look to them haven't they very awesome hold on this wild hearts is ps5 made that's definitely a ps5 title wulong is also ps5 i was wondering whether they might have done a ps4 version and upscaled it to ps5 so they're both gonna have pretty darn awesome on par sort of level graphics it's a difficult one sound off in the comments let me know which one out of wulong or wild hearts you would go for if it was your hard earned penes heck yes uh, personally, I don't know which I would prefer to jump in on. Hold on, is Wild Hearts multiplayer? Let's have a look, see how many people can play that one. So the last one, we could do it in groups of five, couldn't we? So this one here supports up to three online players with PlayStation Plus. Now see, that's still good. That's still good. That's, that's, that's probably better inside of a group, to be honest, when you're doing live streaming or else it gets overwhelming with voices, doesn't it? So that's pretty darn cool. And that lands on my birthday. I might get some birthday pennies and be able to stick them all together and buy one of these titles. So I might not be investing in one of these until mid-Feb anyway. And by that time, hopefully we would see reviews of Wulong and we'd understand what Wulong is all about. That's probably not a bad shout. Wait until Wild Hearts drops and then make a decision. That's where I am right now. But if you guys convince me otherwise and say, no, Wulong is far better than Wild Hearts, then I would probably just jump on onto Wulong, I guess. There we go, people in the view of us. That's two titles I've got my ice on. And again, inside of the comments, let me know if you're looking at any other con um, titles that you feel I should be bringing some attention to, especially if they're on PlayStation 5. Heck yes. Until next time, people, you've been freaking awesome. I guess you have. I've nearly finished my tea. Oh, don't know where you can see that without me tipping it on my desk. Yeah, it's about, it. it's about there, people. It's about there. So fairly good. Fairly good. Still got, I've still got some to go, though. So I'm going to go and enjoy this. Hopefully you've got yourself a brutal hand. Until next time, people, you've been awesome. Take care. Goodbye, goodbye, and goodbye again.